Cool. Hello everybody, it's Dark and Oz, aka Ollie White, because that's my real name, from underground.com. I'm really happy to say we're with Ali from Sons of Fear. Hello sir. I've probably already pronounced that wrong. No, it's perfect. Hey! Anyway, new album came out last year now. Yeah. Here we go. Bird dreaming. Proper. Proper, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been getting very positive reviews, which is nothing new. Um, how pleased are you with the overall album now that you've had so much time to dissect it? Analyze it. Well, the album is uh, it's more. The stuff is more mature now because we wrote the stuff quite fast. Some of the songs we didn't really know. Certainly, we never played them live. So. We're doing half the album on this tour. Uh, four songs of the album. So, uh, and I must confess that it would have been nice to record them now because the songs, the songs are uh, way way back now. So, uh, you know, it, it's uh, yeah, they sort of it's like a living entity. You, re you reach puberty, you reach. You know, being a little bit adult. Or, yeah. Songs are way better now. That's cool. Not that they were, not that they were just, you know, you, you make new tricks here, you know, with, you know, the vocal line gets a little bit altered, there's new drum fills, and so on and so forth. Very good. Would you consider maybe in like a live EP or something, like that, new material? So that we, we thought about it because, you know, like I said, we've been playing three, four songs of the album quite a lot. and. They're way better now. We have more fun playing them. So um, it would be interesting trying it, you know. And how does uh, Benjamin compare to Otto? Uh, I think it's pretty similar. I mean, there's some strings, there's some guitars, and piano, and um, yeah, it's. We, um, I think they're pretty close, actually. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I really like about the album is the artwork, which is yeah. really, really impressive, and it fits in with the music very well. Uh, who did the artwork for this one? It's called uh, Adam Burke. Uh, we basically, he, he was, uh, I sort of discovered him through uh, our friends in Hex Vexel. Okay. Uh, I saw, they, you know, you're always, you're always, you know, after good artwork. Of course. Yeah. Ever since I was, you know, a kid seeing obituary with cause of death, and it's like, holy shit, this is really cool. So, you know, I saw the Hex Wexel album cover, and I thought, holy shit, who's this guy? And I sort of explored his catalog, and uh, he, uh, so we, we picked one basically from his catalog and uh, then he uh, did one for us on demand. Yeah. Okay. So that's the one on the inside. So, uh, All right. Very nice. Uh, obviously this is the first um, day of the UK one. Yeah. Been for a little while. UK and Ireland I should say. Northern Ireland. Yeah, you played Dublin as well though. Yeah, Belfast so, and Dublin, yeah. Yeah, so North and Republic. Yeah. Um, how would you compare UK fans to the rest of Europe? Uh, they were kind of slow. Okay. So, uh, in, in the sense of, uh, uh, we, we did some, I mean, when we started touring, I mean, Germany was sort of our first time. Love at first sight. You know, most fans go to Germany and, you know, that's, you know, but we, I don't know if I should put it that way, we almost gave up on touring England. Okay. Because we did London and it didn't really go well, you know, shitty offers. Uh, not that many people showed up, but it was kind of tough. Okay. Uh, then something happened, I guess four years ago. Okay. We started, uh, I think, similar to this one. I think this is sort of third time we do four, five, six shows in the UK, okay, cool. excluding London. 
Yeah. So I uh, like last time we only did London, now we're coming here again here and we don't play them. And that's something changed. I mean we're doing Sheffield and Brighton and Bristol and again and Nottingham and Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester and uh, Glasgow as well. Yeah, Glasgow uh, and people start showing up. Good. And you know, I was uh, you know, I remember this especially like I was in Sheffield. I know nothing about Sheffield. The flapper. <laughs> you know, I know nothing about it. Yes. But you know, I'm not saying we're playing big venues, but we're playing fairly small venues, but it's packed. Yeah. And the audience enjoyed it, and we had great games. So you know, uh, yeah. So I'm not gonna say uh, it's all sounds really open, but our latest fan base trophy. I mean, but uh, you know, it didn't go. It was a it was a struggle. Yeah. 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 Well, it's good, but it's great that you've um... Sorry, mate. Yeah, and, and, and especially because we have so many uh, sort of British influences. Yes. Coming from, of course, you know, being in Beatles or Purple Zeppelin and all that stuff. But the, one of the greatest influences is, of course, I will, I'm going to dare to call it the British New Wave Gothic stuff. Okay. Okay. The Sisters Mission, Fields yeah. of Nephilim, and onwards to Joy Division, Cure, all that stuff. Mm. So that sort of changed. I, uh, I might as well just say it made us the band we are. Yeah. And that British genre. So we were kind of grumpy or sad that England didn't like us yeah. since we ripped you off. And you didn't like it. Well, it's, it's funny I was speaking with a, a guy who works in German back called Mantar Hospital. And he was saying they, they were curious that had, had you break the UK, and somebody said, be English. No. Which is unfortunate. But it's great that you are now here and you're doing an extensive run. And no. People are really warm to you. And like this, it's, it's fantastic music. It's very atmospheric. It's very. Uh, It's hard to describe, which is great. Right. Yeah. Um, you mentioned actually one more subject, being from Iceland and being one of the European How great does it feel to tell everyone in England about Iceland being be in Manchester and say that I'm a Liverpool supporter. I mean, <laughs> this is hot plotted stuff here yeah, in yeah. So <laughs> no, I, I don't think I'll do that. No, fair no, enough. No, no, no. But inside, you know. <laughs> yeah, secretly. <laughs> beat you, you know that. Yeah, we know, we know. But a few days ago now, you were in Eindhoven for the Eindhoven Metal meeting. Yeah. And I saw at the Creator Show last night quite a few people wearing t shirts in the Eindhoven yourselves and tripping on the land. Um, how did it go? Great. Good. Yeah. Uh, that was the uh, last show we did with our friends in Continuum. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, uh, you know, some other friends on the bill. Sadly, uh, we missed Trypticon and uh, Necrophobic and all the bands that are friends of ours. But uh, it was a sold out festival, a packed house. We uh, had a great time and, you know, it was uh, Great, very good, very good. Um, I've been reading a lot about a Solstice Live is something else. You can't miss Solstice Live. Oh, people putting pressure on me now, aren't you? People dress, fans, people that go, oh, I don't really like the music, but I saw them in their eyes. So, so, what in your opinion makes a Solstice Live so special? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. If people, you know, uh, we are doing a proper gig, it's a little bit different than any other band playing live. And again, we of course, 
totally, uh, I'm not going to say rip off, I'm, I'm, I'm always calling it a tribute because yeah. it's obvious. On a you large. Know, uh, Fields of the Nephilim and all that. So, you know, we, uh, yeah. we like to keep a little goth. Yeah. Even though we're, we're in no way a gothic band. No, no, no. I mean, again, you can't compare ourselves to no, no, Paradise no. Lost or something like that. Let's no, say it's, uh, I mean, we do our best. Yeah. And uh, just as long as you have, you have good monitor sound and you're enjoying yourself, so. Very good. Uh, just finally, then, what does 2019 hold for Solstice? Well, uh, we are doing a string tour, sort of a tour with a, with a, a quartet okay. and a piano player. Uh, that's uh, in the first quarter of next year, okay. or the second quarter, I don't know. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, apart from that, we are going to start to write a new album, okay. sort of, when we... Uh, yeah, I guess you'll take a month off or something, but yeah. when you come on, but you know. So we'll start writing uh, before the summer. You don't really write much in the summer, you're doing festivals and stuff. Yeah. Uh, after the summer we'll keep on writing and hopefully, hopefully we'll be uh, in the studio uh, like a year from now or so, okay. something like that. So, you know, writing music and this, you know, we're doing some more obscure songs on this string tour. Some uh, older stuff with more uh, epic or, you know. Very good. Well, it sounds great and I'm really looking forward to seeing you tonight for right. the first time. Alright. Yeah, thank you so much. Cheers, All man. Best. Thank you.